hosted by us, Awesome Left and Right Shoe. I am Left Shoe, and I am Right Shoe. Today, our show, our main guest is Wolf Racker. We are... Hey, shoes, 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 shoes. What? Breaking news, just in. Yes. Oh, my. This is a club. Oh, wait a second, people. Our on-site crew is having a bit of an issue with the feed. Apparently, someone decided to do the opposite of the sign that read, Whatever you do, don't pull this plug. And pulled it. However, we have also just gotten off our desk some top-secret photos taken by some paparazzi. Two news desk update now. What the? Well, left you. It appears this is Sven, and a note attached says that apparently there was a power outage at the Kremlin, and uh, they heard a yodel and a cluck, and when the lights came back on, well, that, that's what they saw. Oh my god, Sven! Let's hope he is okay! And this just in at the last minute. Ay, caramba! Oh, Jesus! Sam was caught in the bus, it appears, at the local Chinese food restaurant. Holy cow! He was heard to say, Everything is better in the bus. Oh my god! Turn that off quick before we lose our general viewer rating. Shoes, shoes, shoes. What's that? We're ready now. And cue, ready? Oh, okay, finally the feed is ready. So now we can welcome Wolf to the shoe show. We have been eagerly awaiting to interview him, but he is a very, very, very busy guy. Yes, yes he is. We know Wolf for his great YouTube news update. If you are needing to know about the latest YouTube changes, he is a guy to watch, because he always gives good info, and, and he writes some background stuff too. Yes, yes he does. Welcome, Hi, Wolf. Shoes. Thank you so much for having me as a guest on your show. It's quite an honor. I'm very happy to be interviewed by you too. I've actually never been interviewed by a pair of shoes before, so let's... So this is really exciting and something new for me. Well, we aren't just any shoes. We are famous awesome shoes. So, is it okay if we call you Wolf? Yeah, call me Wolf. No worries. It's it's fine. That's my name. So, right, it's, it's my stage name, but it's all good. No worries. Okay, so now let's get on with the burning shoe questions. So, first question. Wolf, the old bag that lives in the office has known you for a while. And we've known you for, well, since we were born. How did you get started with all this YouTube stuff? Yes, how? That's a very good question to ask. Um, when, well, I found out about YouTube when it first came out, because at that time I had a job where I read a newspaper a lot. So I knew about it when it first came out. And um, I didn't, it was just so unheard of at that time, and I was going to school for film and video, and... When you go to school for film and video, the big push is like Hollywood unions and big budget productions and, you know, learning how to make movies and stuff like that. So when YouTube came along, it was just something completely unheard of that people could put, uh, say, like a minute to maybe 10 minute, 20 minute videos on the Internet and people would, would respond well to it. It was just totally unheard of so I didn't think it was gonna last to be honest about it. I mean I kinda knew about it like within a year after it came out but uh, a few years ago and I had totally forgotten about YouTube and stuff like that but a few years ago my brother was in his bedroom and he was started laughing really loud you know so I thought he was watching a funny movie or something on TV so I went in his bedroom and asked him what was so funny and he shows me this uh, you know a, a video from YouTube it was really funny and then ever since then like he started watching YouTube and he got me hooked on it and I started watching YouTube and I'm like hey this is pretty cool after all this is really exciting non celebrities like the average person you know making videos and stuff and I, I thought it was fantastic and I still do to this day I think it's fantastic that the little guy can can uh, get their 15 minutes of fame if you will that's great, Wolf. Yeah, we done heard it that from the old bag that lives in the office here that you went to film school. And we can also verify, you know, being the most famous pair of shoes on YouTube. We're like the only ones, remember? Quiet. That we do, in fact, enjoy our 15 minutes of YouTube fame. In fact, I think we're actually up to about an hour of shoe fame now here on YouTube ourselves. All right, Left Shoe, can we move on now? Yeah, you never let me have any fun. Okay, go then. So, Wolf, how many channels do you have now? 
I have three channels here on YouTube. I have a video blog channel called Wolf Bracker. I have a video game channel called Wolf Bracker X. And I have an animation channel called Wolf Bracker Animation. But I'm mostly active on my video blog channel as like people would like their uh, YouTube news and news stories and they want to know what's going on with YouTube because YouTube makes so many changes, you know, uh, quite a bit actually. And, you know, I mean, they're all three nice channels, but like I said, it's, it's mostly my video blog channel that I'm the most active on. Yeah, well, we really do appreciate you keeping us up to date about all the YouTube stuff. It's because, you know, being shoes and all, like, we may not necessarily realize because we're, like, often busy being dancing shoes or playing tennis shoes or hiking up Mount Everest shoes. So we miss things like that. Yeah, well, maybe he might find the time uh, for another animation channel one day. But it's true, you're so busy with them other YouTube stuff, it's probably hard to keep up. Meanwhile, us shoes will be around until our souls wear out, I guess. Well, now, you know, they, they do have soul implants now, so uh, they do have miracles with plastic surgery these days. That's true, okay, Wolf. Now for our next question. We watch your gaming channel sometimes. And we often play games, you know, like Planet Side and Kick Butt because we're like, like, we're a pair of shoes. And we, like, are the bestest pair of shoes. How do you think you would fare against a pair of shoes in an MMOFPS? Uh, I'd probably get creamed like canned corn. You know, I, I, I really don't play first shooter games, believe it or not. I mean, I do like video games, but I don't. I played Team Fortress 2 for a little while, and that was about it. So, right, right now, I'm really into multiplayer online strategy. I love, like, strategy games. So right now I'm pretty much in the League of Legends. It's a free to play game with like a lot of different uh characters to choose from and stuff like that. So that's the game I've been enjoying a lot lately, like Dota style games. I, I, like to me I, I love strategy games. Yeah, you definitely would beat me at a first shooter game, hands down. I mean it'd be really easy for you to beat me in a first shooter game, so Oh well you probably would cream us in them strategy games. Uh, because we may be nimble, but we haven't had a whole lot of schooling in, in them problem-solving things, you know, what seeing as we had to have homeschooling inside a shoebox. Oh my, moving on. We also saw your animation channel. Any plans on maybe um, uh, a pair of socks, uh, an animated wolf racker or something, you know, to host the shows uh, now that Extra Normal has died and gone? Uh, right now, I, I don't have any plans to do any animation now or in the future. Just because it's, it's really time consuming. And it is difficult for me to learn new programs. I mean, it, it would take a lot of time out of my schedule of license to learn something new. And, and I have to work with something like over and over again to learn it really well. So, I just found Extra Normal was just such an easy program to use. I mean, I, I enjoyed it right away, and I found it extremely easy to use. And I got kind of spoiled with it, really. It was just easier for me to use characters that were already made and had the gestures, like, you just you put an icon in, in, in one of the, the lines, and then they would move a certain way or whatever, so it was really easy. I do know that there is, like, an underground Internet movement for extra normal i don't know how to explain it but extra normal i don't know if i don't understand if they went out of business or yeah okay uh, they shut down uh, over time we think yes they stopped working on their program for some such thing yep yep so somebody else like they kind of like have like their own hacked version of it uh and that's free to use but when i tried to install it on my computer it didn't work but for me it was a great start you know, for me to come to YouTube and, you know, have that animation program, because I was very camera shy, believe it or not. I was, like, terrified to be on camera and stuff like that. So, for me, it was a a good introduction. It was a, or a great way to get started on YouTube without showing my face or whatnot like that. So, it's a shame. It's really a rotten shame that uh, Extra Normal is not around anymore. Because I, I would still be using it. Trust, I would totally still be using it if it was. Yeah, well, Wolf, you do have so many channels, so it's it's busy with the news. 
I saw a little start of the series where he shows us stuff about other writers and singers and stuff. Ooh, I wonder if we should do a song and a dance for you one day. But maybe you might have like an animated wolf on your show and I could do voiceover work for that. I, I would love that. That would be great. Or maybe like an animated werewolf. You know, like werewolf in two shoes. That would be cool. <laughs> Oh yeah, Wolf would probably make a really cool actor in animation, I bet. Hmm, an animated wolf. That is something we have to like talk about to the old bag that lives in the office, you know? I, I bet she would do something with that. Yes, yes, yes she can. Okay, we have time for like one more question before we wrap up. Wolf, what are your future plans, if any? Got any new shows? Uh, shoe shows? I mean shoes or any new ideas in mind? Uh, as far as my future plans go, again, mostly for YouTube. I hope at some point to, you know, I, I would like to, well, they don't have video responses anymore. I, I kind of did want to start doing more video responses, but they took away that feature. But, yeah, definitely I would I would like to, like I said, start doing more news stories for the smaller YouTubers, help them get their name out, help them get their name out there and get some publicity, you know. I think, and I, I really do miss being supportive of the YouTube community. Like I said, I started off basically doing shout-out videos. It would be, like, nice to, you know, I said, start filming different locations and stuff like that. That would be really nice. And something different, too. It might help keep my channel fresh. And I, and really, I would love to do, like, comedy skits or maybe short films. In, in, you know, in the far future. Like, right now, it's just the money's not there. Um, you know, it's very time consuming. Sometimes you have to work work with actors and you're trying to work on other people's schedules. So like right now, it's for me, it's out of the question right now. Collab videos are okay though. Collab videos and like interview videos, that's something that I'm starting to like this last year I started doing those and, and they're pretty neat too. It's, it's kind of different, but it, it is good. It is worthwhile to do those. Well, I bet there are lots of live events you could cover that would be awesome too. Yep, yep, yep. I bet you'd be great and at that. And maybe if you got a mic and a cam and put it on your head or something. I wonder if he, uh, Wolf would need any anchor shoes. Well, Wolf, that is all the time we have for this special broadcast. Thanks for letting us interview you. Yes, thanks. It was, it was great and a very informative too. Indeed it was. Well, thank you so much for having me on your show. I do appreciate it. I, I, I love it when people, you know, ask me, hey, can we interview you, you know? And I take that as a huge compliment, you know, that somebody would want to take time out of their schedule to learn more about me as a person or ask me questions or, you know, ask advice or something like that. I do really do take that as a huge compliment, believe me. And I am flattered anytime once, you know, collab video or an interview video. You're definitely awesome and amazing host, and, and I really... I really do appreciate it, and I wish, wish you two much, much success in the future, and I hope you do get to interview a lot more YouTubers, too. Yep, we had fun with you on the shoe show there. Well, thanks a lot. Bye. Bye. Thank you so much. I, I really do appreciate this. Believe me. Okay. Thanks so much for having me on your show. Well, that was great to have another special broadcast, eh? Yes, yes, it was. And the old bag has, you know, known Wolf for like like nearly two years, and and he brings a lot of info to watch and links to good articles to read. Yes, yes, he does. Let's hope he continues to have time to do his, this stuff in the future. Yeah, and his live event coverage sounded like a good idea too. Yes, yes. And voiceover, voiceover is that that seems like a good idea. We could do something with that maybe if we have time too. Yep. I guess. We should sign off now, but we will be back soon. Just remember that, you know, to go see Wolf's channel, and if you want to be interviewed by a pair of awesome shoes, or know someone who would be interested in being interviewed by a pair of awesome shoes, drop up a message to us, and we'll set one up. Yes, don't be shy, and hopefully you enjoyed this coverage of Wolfbacker and his many, many channels and interests. And hopefully you go check him out, and, you know, like, uh, give him a, a hello and, and whatever, say hello to him. Yes, yes, hopefully you do. Okay, bye for now. 
Bye. Bye.